Buenas tardes a todos, como están ustedes? I hope you are doing well, people. I hope this new year's been treating you well. I hope whatever resolutions you set, you know, full steam ahead, don't let nothing get in your way. And I hope we all reach our financial goals together. And yeah, good luck to us all. Anyway, in this video, I'll be recapping all the dividends I received in the month of January. This is my first, first video for the year. And I'm actually looking forward to seeing the numbers on the spreadsheet because yeah, there's been some changes and yeah, I'm just a little bit gassed. So, you know, let's not waste no time. Let's get straight into it. Before I jump into this video, can I please ask you all to please hit that like button. It does wonders for this channel and also hit the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed already and share this video with your family and friends if they've got any interest in the stock market or investing send the video to them see what they think right so let's jump straight into it first company i got paid from was agnc i earned 152 shares and for those i got paid 12 pounds and 76 pence next is prospect capital i only own five shares and i got paid 21 pence then it was Altria Group, you know, my reliable dividend king. I only own four shares, but for those four shares, I got paid £2.63. Next is B&G Foods. B&G Foods has taken a massive beating because basically they cut their dividends. So, you know, when a company cuts their dividend, a lot of investors, they just, they get out of the stock, especially if you're using it for income. But they had to cut the dividend to make it more sustainable. So when a company does that, then um, you know I will look into it more before I just just bounce and um, they've made it sustainable and yeah for me that's that's kind of important rather than paying a high dividend and then you just have to cut it all together so anyway I own uh, three shares and for my three shares I got paid 39 pence next is Comcast who are the parent company of CNBC which I, I watch religiously um, I own two shares and for my two shares I got paid 37 pence. Next is Global Net Lease, one of my favourite US REITs. Um, I only own three shares but for those I got paid 83 pence. Next is GSK, um, Glaxo Smith Klein, one of the heavyweights on the London Stock Exchange. Um, my good friend Roni, he started to build a big position in that, so shout out to you Roni. Um, I only own two shares at the moment, I really need to build that position this year. I'm, I think I'm going to target that one hard. But anyway, for my two shares, I got paid 28 pence. Also on the London Stock Exchange, the next stock is Henderson High Income Trust. They're a part of the uh, Janus, I think I'm saying it right, Janus Henderson Group. Um, I own two shares, no I don't, I own 20 shares, and for those 20 shares, I got paid 52 pence. Next is IIPR, um, I'm not going to talk too much on that. YouTube doesn't really like us speaking on these stocks. Not that this channel's monetized, so there's not really much they can do. But I'm not trying to get in their bad books anyway. If you want to look more into it, the ticker is IIPR. Um, I own two shares, and for those two shares, I got paid two pounds and fifty-one pence. The ING Group paid me a bonus dividend this month. Um, I own three shares, and they paid me eighteen pence. Iron Mountain, one of my favourite stocks. Um, I will be building up that position also. I only own three shares, and for those three shares, I got paid one pound and thirty-three pence. Next is Owl Rock Capital. I got four shares and for those I got paid 92 pence. Next is Polar Capital and I own 10 shares and for those 10 shares I got paid one pound and 40 pence. Next is Rhythm Capital, formerly New Residential Income. Um, I own seven shares and for those I got paid one pound and 20 pence. Then it's Starwood Property Trust. Um, they are the or one of the biggest REITs in the United States. Very good company. Um, I own seven shares and for those I got paid two pounds and 34 pence. Then finally, last but not least was Walmart and for my 2.2 shares, I got paid 87 pence. Right, and if we add those all together, that gives me a grand total for the first month of the year of 28 pounds and 74 pence. Right, so for my favorite part, let's throw these numbers into the spreadsheet and see how it all fares out. And shout out to my girlfriend for updating my spreadsheet, giving me the 2023 version. So now I can see exactly how um, I compared to this time last year. So let's put that in, 28 pounds and 74 pence. Wicked, right. If you look at the top left one, um, you can see 28 pounds and 74 pence. I'm actually up 1,803% compared to this time last year. So, uh, reason I'm so happy with that like 
A debate you will often hear online is, you know, dividend versus growth investing. And a lot of people would say there's no point dividend investing until you've got a huge lump sum, so you may as well make money growth investing. Where me and a few others believe, no, start off with the dividends um, and it will just build up over time. But, um, you know, before I go any further, I'd just like to point out, like I always do, not only am I not a financial advisor, I'm not your financial advisor. Always do your due diligence before buying any stocks. Don't listen to what I say or anyone in this YouTube space when it comes to buying stocks. Just go copying them and buying them willy-nilly. Do your due diligence. Me, I work too hard for my money just to be, you know, gambling it away. So I suggest you do the same. Anyway, as you can see, um, for the month of January in 2022, I made £1.51 from dividends. This month, a year later, I made £28.74. And that's just from, you know, me putting into my Trading212 account what I could afford to put in every month. It's going to be different for all of us. Some of us got a spare £20, some of us got a spare £50, some of us got a spare five grand. You know, um, it's all relevant to you. But with what I could afford to put in, um, I started this in January last year. I made £1.51 and now I made £28.74, which, you know, to me, I'm more than happy with. If you look at the chart directly underneath that one, you could see for the whole of Q1, so for months, January, February and March, I made £13.72. When I made £28.74 just in January alone, so I've already beat what I made for the whole quarter um, this time last year for January, February, March. So, you know, I can't be anything but happy with that. And um, that's for my budget. You might be looking at those numbers and saying, oh, that's nothing. But, you know, you do it for your budget. And if you look at the top right chart, uh, you can see what I made in January, the purple one. Um, it's actually, compared to all of the months last year, it's actually near enough one of my best months. So I'm just looking forward to seeing what I'm going to make this year and then looking forward to beat that next year and then the year after and so forth. And again, if you look at the bottom right chart, um, you can see that, you know, uh, I beat what I made last quarter. It's just visually seeing it for me. It really means a lot. So um, it, just give, it just inspires me to, you know, to push harder and save more, invest more, and yeah, reach the financial goals which, I, which I've set for myself. Right, so that's it for this video. You know, if you liked it, then please hit that like button. It does wonders for this channel. And leave a comment. Let me know how you're getting on with your portfolios. I'd be very interested to hear. So um, yeah, until next month, although I do have a video planned, and if I do have the time after work, because I'm working like a madman right now, um, if I do have the time, I'm going to put out another video this month. I've got a couple interesting ideas which I'd like to share with you guys, so yeah. Um, but if not, then I'll be rounding up all the dividends I made in February in the next video. But anyway, you guys all, I hope you will take care of yourself. Adios.